Hey everyone, this is video number two of the series uh, working with the Factory Talk view, uh, which is setting up uh, communication. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is setting up communication between our Factory Talk studio and our Studio 5000. So as you can see we still have the same program we had from before. We're going to show you how to set up the communications. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you watch video number one we were to this point right here where we created it and we have it right down here factory talk links. Click on the plus sign. Communication setup double click that and you'll see that it pulls up a new box and yes we want to create a new configuration and here we go so what we're going to need to do first is we're going to add a shortcut a device shortcut and this can really be called anything my program is called uh, factory talk intro program so I'm just going to shorten that. Factory Talk Intro Program, FTIP. And then we need to set up where we want our Factory Talk or panel view uh, to look to get its information. And we're going to want it to look at our processor that we set up. And if you're not sure, you can look back at this program right here. And uh, our Ethernet card is in slot 6. And there is our IP address right here. I'm going to go back to the factory talk view. 10.109.1.1. I'm going to look at the back plane. I'm going to look at slot zero. This is the one that I want to connect to because my processor is in slot zero in the program. And once we select it, we have to hit apply. You have to remember to hit apply. That gets overlooked quite often and if you do not do follow these steps it is not going to work correctly. Then we are going to do a copy from design to runtime and it asks us here tells us that we're creating this configuration Do we want to continue. Yes. Once that done is done we want to hit verify and then we want to hit OK. So you definitely want to follow those steps exactly the way that I showed them to you. If you get any one of them out of order it is probably not going to work. So be sure and follow those steps exactly the way that I just showed you how to do those. Alright, stay tuned and we will create a few more videos.